All right, need to wait for a hundred um, viewers, right? First thing I want to say, good night, and I want to say bless up to the people them way. Focus. I want to say bless up to the people them way. Have sense. See? I want to say bless up to the people them way. You pay attention. You assess properly and you look out of your eye. See? Now, um, because the people may just start following me. See? But because the people may follow me a long time. Now, some people have followed me, but they now nah pay attention to what I say. Them come like the rest of the people in the matrix. Them come like the people who just live, but them not live. You understand? Because you enough people just live. And just go party, and just drink, and just dance. Oh God, I had fun. That's it. Them not listen nothing where the song them I say. Them not listen nothing where the DJ I say where I play the song. Them not listen nothing where the artist I say. Them not see all the people who react like zombie when the certain song play. Them not pay attention to nothing. All them know them go out, them drunk, them party. So some of them come for live. Them just come for mix up. Them just come for dramatics. But them not pay attention. You understand what I mean? The people who are follow me all along and I pay attention. See? Uno no, uno no convinced now say me a operator of a, a different level. Big up all truck driver. Big up on yourself. All nurse on the job. Big up on yourself. Who don't realize it? Say, footer hype. They on a different level in terms of projection and vision. Who don't realize that yet? Because, you see, if you have followed me a long time, I didn't realize that uh, my projection and the things that I miss say we ahead and before regular people. I'm going to show you how, how deep it is. Sometimes the people that I say the things about, they not even realize that uh, me actually I give them pointers I give them a jump start to do the right thing instead of them listen them just start to chase footer them just start to chase footer crackers flavor give thanks them start cause footer and the first thing them do is try to defend themselves and try to look like they make more sense than footer but over the period of time it proves a footer I right because me never attack for myself or on behalf of myself. My inner spirit has speak through me. Now me got drag on the down memory lane a little bit. When you remember when the election campaign are going, see? My company live. Turn on my life and I clearly beg, not ask, beg and plead for the people of Jamaica not to vote for Andrew Oldness. Do you remember that? Who don't remember? Mm. 
me ask again. I wonder if the people in my life remember about two and a half years that now. I forward for my life. I beg. The people them said do not vote for Andrew Wellness. You remember? I don't eat Andrew Wellness. As a person, I could never would be out of place to say me eat him as a person. But as a prime minister, me eat Andrew Wellness like poison. As a prime minister, he is the worst display of a prime minister I've ever seen in my entire life. See? I still hold what I say, you know. Remember, you know, I said that before election. And even when Andrew win, and after the election, I tell you, you say, somebody again put a European piece of gold. That's the illiteracy we want to have. I am not speaking from a PNP standpoint. I'm speaking from a citizen standpoint. I am a citizen of Jamaica. At least I'm not even a citizen. I'm a sovereign Jamaica. And when you're a citizen, you're a slave. See? When somebody wins an election, it's no longer PNP or Labour. I have to repeat myself all the time. I don't to learn. Even if me a PNP during campaign, when Andrew Olness win. The election, it's no longer a labor right PNP thing. He is the prime minister, whether you are PNP or whether you are labor right. Him am a prime minister. So not say, oh, if you are PNP, so move. That now have nothing to do with it after the election done. During the campaign, there's a, there's a choice between PNP and labor right. When the person win, there is no choice. Because when the price raise, you are PNP have to pay the price. You are labor right have to pay the price. It does not matter which side they depend. Because there is only one sign. So when him raise light, raise water, um, change the road act, everything affect everybody. So after the election, there is no labor right or any PNP. He is the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Big difference, you know. Because the illiteracy are kill we, you know. Because for you even, for you even comment that, it's sure me say, you can probably read and write, but you are very illiterate to what politics is. Once the election is finished and they declare somebody the winner, it's no longer a two-sided thing of one Prime Minister we have. So Andrew Wilness is my Prime Minister. I'll do my vote PNP and I love PNP. Andrew Wilness is my Prime Minister. No doubt about it. Millicent, big up yourself. So what I'm saying now is, as a Prime Minister, I do not like Andrew at all. As a person, Andrew cool. Me Andrew not a problem. Me not, me not have nothing bad to say about Andrew as a person. He could have been one of my best person. Maybe if me and him had the bridging, would have said, John and John are my best bridging. But as a prime minister, he's the worst I've ever seen. See? Now, me tell you, say, I'm going to be the worst. Me tell you, say, he only make the biggest mistake for make Andrew win. Me tell you, say, I'm going to ball. I tell you, say, I'm going to deal with wicked. Everything when I say, Andrew, I'm going to do, Andrew, do. I tell you, say, Andrew, I'm going to legalize the LGBTQ community in Jamaica before him come out of power. Well, him already do it, I just feed, go up and pen and paper. See? I say, Andrew, now, I say, we are going to import weed. From Canada, remember when he must force the people them when he must force the people them to take the joke with it, and him say, I'll pity them for take the joke. 
I have him as the wickedest man. Right there, so I have him as the wickedest man. Him and Christopher Tufta. Because if you don't care about the picnic, them, I mean, like, when you can sell out, we the old one, them, and make we kill ourselves. But the picnic, them, the picnic, them, trouble and be quiet. So, me look now, I me see the man I said, they want to import weed from Canada. No, these are the weirdest, strangest one, you know. Can I remember him try him sell the rights to people mine out the Catholic country. Um, the Maroon chief carried him a coat and win. So you know, you might talk about that again. Can them lose that case there. See? How oh, can you import marijuana from Canada to Jamaica? Nelly Dime, you buy badges, big up yourself. From me, little and I grow, them say Jamaica have the best weed. When me come a foreign come live, from before me I come live, them always want yard weed for buy. Them want weed that come straight from the yard. Why on earth you would entertain any farm, a deal, any farm, a business proposal to import weed from Canada to Jamaica? That makes sense? No, more when I labor at them with a comment a while ago, more uno explain to me if it makes sense. Cause if you can explain to me properly, me will understand. Like right? the weed capital of the world, which is Jamaica, for import weed from Canada. When I labor right them, I just see that comment. Just trouble down on one of them. Please, like, tell me how that part is. People who can buy some badges in the meantime. What may I say, Blade Marital? I would even, if I was the Prime Minister, I would even entertain. The conversation of a deal like that. I could a push, push, chosh, blush. We have the best naturally grown weed. So if we have the best naturally grown weed, and them want kush and them thing, and chocolate cookie and all of the name them what them call, we can use our naturally grown weed and create the kush. Where you want import? Where you want import from Canada? I mean, I understand. Yo, people, may I try? Somebody explain it to me, now, please. Oh, it makes sense. It's like, to all me see Andrew are dealing with it. It's like anybody come with a proposal where him can get a money order. Him not care about nobody else, you know. Him just accept and agree. Like, what the fuck is your problem, bro? So, for you to get a money order, it's your good. Are you, are you, people, understand the message. Because some people like that, bro. Turn on and pressure the man. We mean pressure. The job come with pressure. The job come with. Hold on. Yeah. Big up DJ Freestyle. May I try? May, may I try? Yo. May I try understand like how that makes sense? How
hope on earth. That makes sense. Somebody say Canada weed is rubbish. Blessed. That is. Yes, sir, it's easy to explain. Where that talk? No, with the imports. Because remember, them can put the import bill in and so they really rob people, right? <clears throat> oh, oh, so you yeah, say when they do the import is for them own benefit for me to thief more money. Everything with politicians are for their own benefit because the, the United States as so-called world government, what they did now is them impose a law where you can't really plant food for yourself no more. That's why I see most of the food where Jamaica plant now is for export. Well, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but think about it. You're exporting what you're importing. The same food where they might export, they yeah, might import. No, the import part of the problem. Yeah. I hear why I think America did that now, because we grow healthier food. Yeah. So if you, have got, if, you have got, if you have got export out the whole of the good food and take in the, the, the machine food, then, RNA. then you are, you are part of your nation. Yeah, but that, you see, because of the world agenda, so I'm not, I'm not sure. Well, based on all your thought, I'm not really uh, um, doubt your, your knowledge. But you know what is RNA, right? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so is that. Is that uh, is a DNA attack mechanism with um, the new food groups where they are. So it's like right. hybrid right. food. They're making foods that will attack. So it's like GMO RNA. All of those is for really attack. It's, it's genetically modified to attack black people. Put it I, away there. So you know why they might attack with DNA? You see if you know that part. Yeah, yeah. so my, spirit, my spirituality depends but because I listen to your talk most of the time and my spirituality depends on the same would have upon the same realm so basically what it is is what black people need to understand is that the the reason why racism came about is not because people wanted to be racist it's just because they they were indoctrinated with the with with the real history of black people yeah and that we are the actual powerful set of people so let me get rid of these powerful set of people and that's why they bury our history and 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 and, and sub right, let me tell you, let me tell you the real reason why yeah go on the real reason why is money you see and here why mm -hmm. black people don't know that all these rich people who make money of natural resources Oh, yeah. us. For every piece of diamond sell, we forget that right. cut. Yeah, you know, um, Kimani Mali, you say, we want to cut everything. I cut every pussy cloth. So if, if you sell a nickel bag, if you sell a dime. Yeah, but so, that, 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 are the that are the plan of the elites from a long time. You know what I mean? No, no. It's the plan of everybody except black people. I'm going to break it down for you because a lot of people don't know this, right? Yeah, go on. We are old. Because what is your father's own is yours. Now, the natural resources of the earth were never meant to be for sale. No, it was, it was, it was, this, it was created for, for instance, we have gold, we have some silver. Survivor. We, yeah, yeah, we use it, and, okay. and you need okay. something, you need something so, to exchange it. So, so then I use it to sell. See? It's not bigger than money, brother. And money it comes down to. Yeah, natural resources is the root of money. That's where mm -hmm. money comes so from. Right. It's supposed to give you everlasting life and longevity. Because remember, if you are eat properly, if you are pray properly, and if you are exercise properly, you can't dead them. With, that's why man used to live to thousand of years and two thousand of years and them something there. See? Because you are eating properly, praying properly, and exercising properly. See? Because just to survive alone, you used to have to exercise properly. You have to walk the field, you have to climb tree, climb hill, do all of them something. Right? Yeah. Naturally, you have to pick your food. Back when in the original man never used to eat meat. Never used to eat meat, right? Anybody here talk about oh black man eat meat, them ask them what time, what year. Yeah. But
But and I'm going to give you some middle, I'm going to give you some middle story and some, some, um, East West start now middle, but they now go from the root. Yeah, from hence, the root. Why the, hence why the Bible now have no validation, because humans, right. humans were made to survive our vegetation. Exactly. The, the, the so, medicine, medicine, medicine was frequency. Frequency right, was it, used to heal. Heal every sickness. Uh, and that is so, why them, that is why them, them try to shrug black people's history under the carpet. You know so who this they, is show you. Yeah. Yeah. Show you say money now, because we don't want to go too far. Yeah, go on. And the people don't understand. I keep it simple. Some people don't know what the Federal Reserve Bank is. No, the Federal Reserve put a clamp on all natural resources, meaning from oil, uranium, uranium, coal, and everything. Them keep a track. That's why you can't pick up a piece of diamond. An African just can't come to America, come sell. Yeah, right. Yeah. You can't, can't bring natural resources from anywhere. And that's why them pass law in an allied constitution. Them with the country, they were controlled natural by the resources. British monarchy. Your natural resources be a, be a yard, and you find oil in there, it belongs to the government. No matter if you own the land. If you find gold, it belongs to the government. No matter if you own your yard. But, if you find diamond... But, nobody, but me glad you said that. Me no cut you. Me glad you said that. Because that's a very important point. For everybody upon the live, where always I say, oh, me own me house are foreign. You don't. You don't. And if you read the fine print of any deed whatsoever, it says that you're a landholder six feet below. So from ground level to six feet below, you're just a holder. You know what I mean? So, and these are the things that, because the educational materials would have enlightened we on these things, they hide it from us. You know but, what I mean? But brother, we have to stop using that term there too because education is a prison. Education is not for us. No, not in, not in, the, sense of, not in the sense of them curriculum education. We are talking about like on this level where there are things. For example, the... Who is the greatest scientist in America's in, in the history of America? Oh, Nikola Tesla. You mad? Oh. We go research a man named Benjamin Banneker. He's a black man. Greatest yeah. scientist. And this is what I'm saying. I don't celebrate Black History Month because I just feel like it's a no. slap in the face. Men are do back Black History Month. I'm yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we don't want to last them now, as we may have said. The Federal Reserve right. put a clamp on all natural resources, right? Now, what the Federal Reserve does is coop up everything from natural resources, right? And create something called a promissory note, which is called right. money. Right. Then, which the banks go and deal with the Federal Reserve on behalf of the slaves. Because we are all slaves, right? Once, once, you, have a, once yeah. you have a birth once, certificate, yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. we are all slaves. People don't even know that. People are like, I mean, since the slavery day is done. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, once you, once you have a birth certificate bigger, with, a, with a... Slavery yeah. is bigger than when it is on the plantation. No, it was See? better on the plantation. That's what I'm saying. It's bigger. Yeah. Bigger now. Yeah. Slavery, yeah. bigger now. See? So, what should them do now? Every human being born of natural birth. My listen to me good in And hear the words when I say. Because words before words important and words that come afterwards important. That's why enough man talk on the street and when they're going to court, they cannot talk. Because yeah. they will put one word behind or in front of another word and it have total different meaning. See? So, the bank represent as you and me to the Federal Reserve. Right. Now, every human being born of natural birth, meaning man and woman of sex. That's the only man you a woman and you're born. We yeah. don't talk artificial insemination. We don't talk when you take sperms and go inject it in a woman. God no know that pick me there. Yeah, but it, it still requires a man's sperm to do that anyway. If you fertilize yeah, but it's not natural. Yeah, but, it, it, but you see, when you say that, 
when you say that it still goes back to the law of man and woman create yeah, reproduction. Once it's yeah. tampered with my friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't you don't have the same value as somebody who's born of God. Because once you have artificial insemination, you are not born of God. Go you on. understand what I say? Yeah, so go now on. your val validity to go to the Federal Reserve is not there. No. Then, so every person born of natural birth is valued seven hundred thousand US dollar right. in right. the Federal right. Reserve. But why is that? Why? Why is that? And I'm explaining to you. Yeah. Because they are using the natural resources to make money. Right. So. So. Yeah. so, so again. Well, Anna, bro. Go bro, on. Go on. Me no want chop chop it up and remember me and you kind of dip on a, another level because we're the far then people yeah, yeah. some of them are the first they might hear it right so it's like a sound ludicrous then that's on crazy now break it down in a regular roadman terms if me own that carrier right i me dead left it i'm a picking them it up to share up with our next of kid yeah next of kid now is this is the same law we govern nature because you are born of nature. Nature is your daddy. So everything when nature creates, whatever make money off it, you are subjected to a cut of it. Right. See? So when that seven hundred dollar day in a trust fund by the Federal Reserve. Yeah, seven hundred dollars in the US. Yeah, the bank operates as a mediator. Yeah. For you to the bank, that's why it's called, because called you, that's why it's called intermediary, bank. right? So, yeah, your parents and my parents were defrauded into signing you over as a to property the corporation, right, right? Of any country which you were born in, because there are no countries left, they are all corporations, they are businesses owned, yeah, by big bank. See? So what them do now, them go and negotiate with the Federal Reserve on behalf of you. So when you go to the bank to get a loan, you have to give them your social security number right. and your ID. Your ID of your birth certificate number upon it. Right. And your name in a capital letter, meaning you're a slave. So you don't have the, the privilege of dialoguing yeah, that, with the Federal that, Reserve. Yeah, yeah that, that, yeah, right. so now slave now the power there. When the bank goes to the federal to your database, because when you go for the loan, them take your social and your ID. Why them can't grant you a loan without taking your social and your ID? Because they're not lending the money out of their money. No, they're going into your account. Yeah, but but that's the thing what people don't realize, right? When, when you say that, let me, let me just um and let me just break it down a little bit more for them. Because when you say them no one lending no money or to feed them money. The bank people, the bank does not have any money. The bank doesn't have any money. The bank now have no money whatsoever. Okay. The bank take you see when you put money into the bank, they take that money to the Federal Reserve where they're earning on the money where you put in at the bank. So and if you all think I'm lying, go to the bank tomorrow morning and tell them you want fifty thousand. You want thirty thousand. So they there. don't have it. They you have to make there. an appointment. The banks have no money. But it's the biggest corruption scheme there is, which is banks. Um, what they do now is they 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 they, they pre all right. So our next thing with Americans, you see all of them millions and trillions of dollars, all of the millionaire them and the billionaire them in America really don't have no money at all. When your economy owes 19 trillion dollars which they don't have, which they will never have to pay because they print their own money. So America will never have to pay their debt because they print their own money. And that is the reason why, you see, um, the president of America can take out the, take more, so much money between him and his son them and uh, invest in a foreign countries. Yeah, and uh, uh, instigate war, right? Because if there's no chaos, you can't steal. 
So earlier on when you are trying to explain why Andrew Holness is doing what he's doing, it's because people without chaos, you can't steal. So All right. creating chaos. Go on. Finish creating them about the federal reserve, though. Go on. Go on them understand how the banking thing operate. So when you go to the bank, and anybody that I answer can ask me the question. You cannot get a loan, you cannot take out a car, you cannot take out a house unless them ask you for two things first. Yeah. Your social and your ID. Then a lot of people don't know. Your social security number is a debit card number for your your trust fund yep. at the Federal Reserve. Notice they never ever give you a social. Them ask you if you got to take out a social. Because you are the only one that can get consent for them going in your federal reserve. Trust fund. Yeah. Yeah. So what them do now when you got to take out a social, you give them permission. permission to access your to, account. To access your account on behalf of you. you. Right, right, right. So when so you go sign, to the bank. Signing now, those documents is actually signing over your rights trick. to your account. To the That's bank. Yeah. But them act like you can't go to school, you can't go work, you can't do nothing without the social. So them stick you up, figure get right. the social. No, right. none of them are here, you know. When you get your green card or your citizenship, and them are saying, it's your social, you know. You have to go look about your social. Because it's you who have to sign that shit. So anyway, when you go to the bank, say you want a hundred thousand for borrow. Because enough people don't know this. When you go in there, if you notice every time you go look about a loan, give them your social or your ID, they tell you give them a minute and they go around the back. Around the back. <laughs> they have a computer in front of them, yeah. but they not do what they do with their social in front. and the computer in front of them. Because they know why you see that. What they do, they go around at the back. Yeah. They go in at the Federal Reserve database. Right, the mainframe database. Right. right. Go see how much money your living man trust fund right. have because right. you in the bank are operate as a slave. Right. So, so when you go in as a slave, the only way them can lend you money are if you are registered as a living man. By, by God. Because remember, the money where them are given half a God property, you know. The right. oil, the uranium, the uranium, the coal, and the... All of yeah, it, cobalt, oil, everything. cobalt, everything will come from the earth. You cut your jaw a piece because you are made of God. You never ask in there. You never force yourself to come here. You are made out of nature. So them owe you. So what them do now? Go around there, run your debit card, which is a social security number. It's a debit card number. Federal Reserve says, all right, boom, theme, uh, theme, Team trust for never touch yet. Them know you qualify for 700000 or more or less. So them can afford, the Federal Reserve can afford to lend you this money. Not even lend, give. Because I give them a give you money. But the bank is not you. So the bank take your money and lend you 100000 But the Federal Reserve actually lends in tens. I give in tens. So it's when him goes up and say. Hundred thousand, but them give him a million, million dollar. Yeah. The bank yeah. gets a million dollar. So if right. you get a hundred thousand dollar loan from the bank and a skinny teeth, oh Jesus, and we get hundred thousand from the bank. No, that's hundred thousand from your money. But the bank yeah. has nine hundred thousand to play with. Yeah. So what the bank do with the nine hundred thousand that they do now? They Put go and in invest stock, it in what is called a, a, um, a stock um, stock all kind of and trust, insurance, yeah. trust. All kind of thing they put their money in. So, so, so the bank so, should have actually so appear you. Hold on. The bank should have actually appear you. Whatever interest they might charge you, you know. Yeah. Add them to appear you, you know. Because yeah. of your money. They are use. Yeah. So, people, regular people, do not know that. Even regular people who work in the bank, don't fucking yeah. know that. They don't make this information privy. You know That's I mean? why they have a loan officer. Where specialize in a loan. The regular teller just can't give a loan. You understand what I'm saying? 
It's their king. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what me I say now? Zin? Because some of you don't know nothing where we are talking about. You never know that this exists in the world. But you are talking about. You know how much time the man making point and talk? Me want to get what me I say about the bank before going to all the other things where me any more advanced pan. Because without me even ask him, so I hear him talk, I know him know some of what me I say. So I don't want to me not want lose uno and uno, I don't want to uno last because I'm showing about this regular, simple bank where you're going to borrow money every day. And don't know, say, you own money, you borrow. So, the re reason why the bank can do that, I do me that, I do anybody that, is because you're operating as a slave. The term for this slave is straw man. Straw man. Because they might use maritime law, govern the land, which is already a fraud, my friend. Right, 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 right. See? So when you know I go, you know be a part of fraudulent activity. But here why them can't fraud you? Because there's nothing that the bank do with you with them, with them not make a sign. So when you sign, you are actually saying, yes, I give the bank the permission to take this money on behalf of me. Right, right. So you are rob your own self, but the bank set it up a way that you feel kind of like you have to do it. Yeah, same thing they do with um with the with the injection during the pandemic. Then then corner people in uh, I see him and uh, uh, people it's so funny he mentioned that, yeah, because I'm wanna remember this today. Anything that you are forced or put in a position remember during the pandemic they never give you guys a choice. They threaten to take away your freedom. Anytime they do that, it's not good for you. If it was good no, for watch you, it now. Here are people now understand. A threat is not actually an action. Yeah. So because of fear. Yeah. And nobody don't want to lose going to a restaurant. Nobody don't want to lose go concert. Nobody don't want to lose go games. Remember that them telling you. Them, right. them, I'll know them not do that. You know. I'll know them not stop on the front going away. You know. But because of fear. Yeah. You know, me don't want them stop me. Me don't want 